Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 441. Retinal Detachment. Describe the process of retinal detachment that leads to vision loss. In retinal detachment, if there is separation of the neurosensory layer of the retina from the outermost pigmented epithelium, this will lead to degeneration of the photoreceptors and that will eventually lead to vision loss. What is neurosensory layer of the retina? The neurosensory layer of the retina is the photoreceptor layer with rods and cones. What is the function of the outermost pigmented epithelium? The function of the outermost pigmented epithelium is to shield excess light and support the retina. What are the causes of retinal detachment? The causes of retinal detachment may be secondary to retinal breaks, diabetic traction, and inflammatory effusion. What is the cause of retinal breaks? The cause of retinal breaks is due to posterior vitreo detachment and this leads to vitreo retinal traction and that can lead to breaks and this condition happens more commonly in people with high myopia. What do you see in condition of posterior vitreous detachment? You see flashes and floaters. What can be the eventual consequence of retinal breaks? An eventual consequence of retinal breaks can be monocular loss of vision like a curtain drawn down. And this is considered a surgical emergency. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.